All right, I wanted to mention this too. This is an interesting uh, story uh, from MSN. It says, a school district in southwest Missouri is bringing back a measure it last resorted to over two decades ago to address disciplinary problems. That is, spanking students. Classes started uh, Monday for the 1,900 students in Classville um, R4 School District, about an hour west of Branson and some 15 miles from the Arkansas border. During open house, families were notified that the school board had adopted a policy in June allowing physical force as a method of correcting student behavior. Parents were handed forms to specify whether they authorized the school to use a paddle on their child. Formerly known as corporal punishment, the disciplinary measure usually involves spank, uh, striking students on the buttocks with a wooden paddle. In Cassville, stu- staff members will employ reasonable physical force without a chance of bodily injury or harm in the presence of a witness. This is according to the new policy. Now, uh, what exactly constitutes reasonable physical force is unclear, but that's what they're going to do. Now, this is interesting to me because it kind of, again, highlights some of the fundamental problems with the school system, the public school system. Um, It's true that there's a total lack of discipline in the school system. Kids don't respect their teachers or the administrators. Uh, They don't care about the punishments. Suspension in particular is a is a really st- and I think this is where the paddling idea originally came from is that they were looking for another form of punishment instead of suspension, and that makes sense in a certain way because suspension suspension is a is a particularly stupid form of punishment because the kinds of kids who get suspended are also the kinds of kids who love nothing more than to stay home from school. And they're likely to be the kinds of kids whose parents aren't going to hold them accountable at home. So by suspending them, you're not really accomplishing anything. Suspension only works as a disciplinary tool if the child being suspended, number one, wants to come to school. And so you're taking something away from him that he wants. And two, has parents who will react with appropriately severe, you know, with with appropriate severity to their child being suspended in the first place. So if you need both of those criteria to be met in order for the suspension to work as a punishment. But usually, um, neither of the criteria are met. So what are you left with? They don't really expel kids anymore, um, unless they're found guilty of misgendering, in which case we make, you know, then you can toss them out. There's detention, but that only goes so far. And uh, what if a kid ref- refuses to show up to detention? What do you do? This is the kind of hopeless situation that lots of teachers and administrators are in. There's like, there's nothing they can do. The kids are not listening. They don't care. They have no respect. Um, They have no, you know, they they haven't been raised to respect their elders or anything like that. So it's just, what are you supposed to do with them? And it's what makes you think, well, maybe it's time to introduce corporal punishment as another option. But then here, here comes another complication because if I'm a parent sending my kid to public school, in the year 2022, I am not going to be okay with paddling because there's no way in hell that I trust the teachers or administrators to dole out a punishment like that appropriately or responsibly. I just don't trust them. And so when you're using physical force in that way and you're authorizing another adult, a stranger to use, you have to really trust. There's to be a lot of trust there. But I'm not going to have that kind of trust in any of the adults working in the school system right now. I just don't trust you. So no stranger, especially not one in public school, is laying a hand on my kid. I don't don't trust him. I don't trust any adult with that, especially not government workers in a government uh, in the government school system. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna entrust government employees to physically punish my child. No, this is the conundrum then that you deal with. Uh, The lax discipline doesn't work. But harsher discipline requires a certain amount of trust between school and parent, and that trust doesn't exist. And largely, that's the fault of the schools because they've destroyed all that trust. So what's the answer? Well, I'll tell you what the answer is. Get your kid out of the public school system. That's the answer. Well, if you enjoyed that video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get more content like it if you're craving more content, go watch or listen to my full show at dailywire.com, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.